Okay, well, this sort of, um, we, we call this sort of radiation in general terms, ionizing radiation, because the, the particles or the gamma rays actually come in to the, to the tissue and actually um, cause electrons to be scattered all over the place, in other words, atoms to be, uh, to be ionized. Now, of course, if that uh, actually does generate, um, if that happens in a DNA um, molecule, then you can damage that piece of, uh, piece of DNA. Now, DNA is particularly good at repairing itself, and also, if there is damage, then the cell usually just dies, and so on. So we're talking about a very low probability that a damage event has actually transferred into a potential uh, cancerous event. And of course, that might take a lifetime in itself to develop. So again, we're talking about um, probabilities and, and so on. We do, we've got a good idea what those probabilities are, but there is a high level of uncertainty, and so on. So, one person could get a C vert of radiation, not have any effect. Another person could get a C vert of, effect, a C vert of radiation and uh, die of, uh, of cancer. Now, two last questions, uh, just sort of dealing with what's going on at the moment. Um, as, as one of the few people that before this all happened probably knew what a milli C vert was, what have you been thinking about the media coverage and the way these terms have been used? Has it been frustrating for you? You think they're doing a good job? I think, uh, I think the media have been doing a good job with the limited, uh, limited data that's available and I think um, people have gone out of their way to explain what, what is happening in the reactor or what they think might be happening in the reactor. Now that's not because they're trying to fool us or anything, that's because there genuinely isn't uh, the, the sort of information that's, uh, that's available. Now, of course, I can get a totally different radiation reading, whether I'm standing next to the reactor or away from the reactor or 30 kilometres away from the reactor. Um, so I think there's a lot of different numbers out there. There's certainly a lot of misunderstanding generally in, in terms of um, radiation units and limits and regulation uh, and, uh, and their effects. And of course, that, that's true of the media, that's true of the public and maybe some scientists as well. Um, so, I think good information in the end and honesty from the authorities is clearly what we're, uh, what we're looking for. Well, my, my feelings are that I have every sympathy with uh, the, the um, people of Japan who are suffering from uh, obviously the aftermath of a terrible tragedy. I uh, obviously feel for the people who are struggling um, f to actually control, um, control this problem, uh, which is mainly a problem of of things getting too hot uh, rather, than, uh, rather than radiation, although obviously some radiation is on, uh, on inevitably being, being released. And I, I would look more at the weather forecast, really. Uh, are we, is that radiation going to be blown in, in land? Because it's only going to be transferred uh, on the wind. Uh, and so a maps of, of where it's going, I think, will be far, uh, far more useful to the, to the general populace uh, and so on. The clearing up. Um, that's, that may take some time. We obviously saw these effects when Chernobyl um, blew up in Finland and in the Lake District. So um, it is, it's going to be a long-term problem. Uh, but the overall radiation release at the moment doesn't appear to be, uh, to be too high. We're not talking about Chernobyl here. We're talking about something much more uh, local um, and, uh, at the moment.